We're gonna work with MPE in Ableton Live Sampler. The sampler now has some MPE support and I'm gonna look into that today. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is one, drop in the sampler and two, bring in the MPE control here. I already have my Seaboard block set up in Ableton Live to receive MPE information. If you wanna see how you can do that, I made a really quick video on how to do that and you can see in the sampler that we really are only getting slide information coming in. With this MPE control, we're actually gonna to wanna to open this uh, settings panel right here. And this box, MPE to MIDI, is what we wanna look at. We can turn any of our MPE press information into aftertouch information, that's what AT is. We can turn our slide information into modulation wheel information and note pitch bend to just global pitch bend for uh, the sampler. If we turn all of those on, you can see if we click or if we press our seaboard block, we're getting modulation wheel, pitch bend, and press information now. The other cool thing about sampler I noticed is that you can actually turn off the slide to modulation wheel here. And from there, Look at that. Now, instead of the modulation wheel, we actually still have slide information coming in. So it looks like Ableton's uh, sampler also has a note pitch bend range that's available right here. Although I just haven't figured out a way to get that information into coming into sampler. Um, it doesn't seem like when I play the Seaboard block that the pitch bend range is coming up at all. Uh, so I went ahead and turn on note pitch bend to regular pitch bend, and at least we're getting information coming in from that. I still have my Seaboard block set to a range of 12. Basically, that just means the range is going from an octave up to an octave down for pitch bend. And if we crank that all the way up to 100, so if we play this, and with the pitch bend, Now that that's set up, we can also use the slide function. Yeah, let's try filter frequency for the slide. So let's bring this down a little bit maybe. So with that, we actually have the slide mapped to the filter frequency. And then we have the pitch band range on. So if we play that, check this out. That is really awesome. So now we have uh, the pitch bend on, we have slide affecting the filter frequency. Maybe now we can go in and try uh, press. Maybe I'll up the resonance of that filter frequency and let's see what happens there. I'm actually gonna boost this a little bit so we hear it a little more. Right now we just swapped the slide and press functions. So now slide is affecting filter resonance and press is affecting the filter frequency. So if we press down, we're affecting the frequency. And if we move up and down, we're actually moving the filter resonance uh, up and down. And so we're getting this really cool effect where if I press heart like up and down on the seaboard block, we're getting this like weird wobbly kind of effect. Man, there's so many possibilities with all of this. Let's go ahead and turn the slide to modulation wheel on on the MPE control. And maybe we'll switch the mod wheel to something a little bit different too. Maybe we can set this to an LFO and then we'll go ahead and turn an LFO on and we'll set it to the volume, which will be a little more of a vibrato effect. If we look here, we have the modulation wheel set to the LFO rate. We have the slide affecting the filter resonance. So now if we wanna switch between the slide and modulation wheel, we can do that by a click of a button. 
So say we want to affect the LFO rate. We'll just click slide to modulation wheel to on. Now we have that effect. And if we turn it off, now we have slide coming in and that's set to the filter resonance. So then we have this effect. You can turn it on and off and have these mapped to different things. Uh, that's really cool. At this point, there's probably so many different effects that you can do within this. This is getting really, really interesting with all of this MPE control in Ableton. I'm really excited, but I just wanted to give you a little breakdown on sampler, its MPE functions, the new things that were added. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested. I'm doing more Ableton Live content, more MPE content, as well as uh, some really cool audio visual stuff as well. My name is Intempest. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. So I'll see you in the next one.